This is my Creality Ender 3 version 2 and in a minute we're going to fire it up and I'll show you my first test print with the profile I've just completed making with this guy. And the reason we're doing it in this order is because, well, editing. Uh, this is going to be 3D Thursday this week. I will show you how to pull the file from the SD card which came out rather nice by the way. This is the print that we got our first print off of this printer and it is gorgeous so I thought we'd go in there we'd take the G code and steal the settings from that file to make our very own profile since that is what Creality intended to begin with so let's jump on in and do that right now and when we come back to the printer here you should see it firing up and starting to print the head of a dragon the Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine patreon supporters Welcome back folks, Technivorous here. Today we are going to be taking a look at setting up, as you saw a minute ago, the Ender 3 version 2 from Creality. So I'm going to go ahead and start by making a printer profile for this printer. And in order to do that, I need to go to Settings, Printer, and Add Printer. I don't have it hooked up, so we're going to hit Add a non-networked printer. And we are going to roll on down the list till we find Creality here. And it looks like it isn't quite in here yet. So, start with the Ender 3 Pro, hit Add. And I think we'll make a couple of changes. So one of the things that I'm wanting to do is I have printed a test print you can see that in my unboxing video um, but what we're gonna do is set all of this stuff here to be the exact same as that test file that comes on the printer so I've taken my micro SD card and inserted it and I have notepad plus plus which is a great uh, word program it reads pretty much everything and I'm gonna jump in here and I'm gonna steal a lot of this code here and we're going to use that to be our start G code. So we're going to go ahead and control C and get rid of that. Replace it with our stuff. Okay, that's not bad. And then we're going to do the same for the ending G code, which is going to be way down at the bottom so let's just pop past most of that stuff and what we want is the stuff after uh, time elapsed here so we'll grab this and place this guy here And a lot of this is commented out so you can see exactly what it's doing. Uh, and that's a good thing. So um, we're getting retractions and raising the Z and then a wipe, things like that. So then going back to absolute positioning. So over here, I think we're setting it to absolute as well. And then we reset the feed rate and the flow rate before printing. So some pretty. Uh, pretty interesting stuff going on in there but pretty simple as well and as I said we pulled that pretty much directly from that G code so we're gonna go ahead and hit next here and I think that these should just be our basic generic shed settings and they should be alright but I did want to go and see what a few of these particularly were set at. So, it's not showing too many of them. Okay, so let's check out travel. I want to check out distance 6.5 at 25 millimeters per second, combing, not in skin. Um, all of this looks pretty good. I don't think we're going to change too much. I did want to go back. And take a look there is this other stuff here um, and this was put in by Kira after the G code is run this is basically all just comments so 
Um, you have here a couple of things that you can get, like you can find the adhesion type that's right here. Um, you can find out whether or not support is turned on, and it is. Uh, support is attached to build plate. So you can see the standard quality number two. That's basically that's the profile they use to print it. So all the settings that are in there um, are should be exactly the same as what's here, except maybe whether or not that support's turned on. So, um, and I think that is pretty close to what we have here. It actually says let's let's check that again here. Standard quality number two. Let's see that the settings aren't the same, but this is basically uh, the profile they were using to make that. Go back to that profile because that was. I want its skirt. Yeah, so that's basically it as far as the setup. Now let's check the speed real quick. Is it 60? Um, it's probably perfectly capable of doing 60. I mean, I know it can do 60, and you'll probably get decent models. I like to take it down to 55 because I'm not in too big of a hurry. I'd rather get a nice model than a fast model. So um, that's going to be it for setting up the profile on this guy. Let's throw a model on and get to printing.
So here you have the dragon head we just printed with my profile. There was a little bit of blobbing at the end that I didn't account for and I don't like that so we're going to go in and find out what that is if it's in the NG code or if it was something else that I did. But we will take care of that. Other than that, the model came out fairly flawless. Uh, super low layer height. Um, pretty nice. The support came out pretty well. It all removed pretty easily. You can see there's a little bit of interfacing left on the bottom that would need some finishing there. Um, but yeah, so far I'm pretty dang pleased with the models coming off of this. I think they're only going to get better, so stick with us and follow us through as we go through and make all the adjustments we need to this machine to get it running picture perfect. I think it's pretty much right there, right out of the box. There are just a couple of little minor tweaks I want to make to this profile before we post it but you should see it on my GitHub soon. Well, that's it guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers, and so far I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link, check out our Patreon link, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.